Well, holy smokes, guys. Hydra Activision supervisors out here because the employees have confirmed a protest. This is massive, okay? Like the video if you're with the Activision employees. Dislike if you're with the Activision supervisors that got caught with their pants down doing helicopters with their willies. The, the situation is wild. It's taking a dark turn. We're gonna give you the full scope in this video. We also got Modern Warfare 3 Remaster. I mean, my guy, at this point, Activision bought a drop like Modern Warfare 10 <laughs> multiplayer remaster. We got PS5 and Xbox shortages. We also got hackers threatening EA big time about Battlefield 2042. So let's actually get right into it. Smash the like button. And for your reward, here's a picture of Bobby Kotick out here. I mean, I'm just messing around. Here's a picture of a baby Yoda. But coming in at number seven, a shout out to the homie for adding me in the situation. Apparently, GameSpot came out and they have confirmed the fact that PS5 and Xbox shortages are now going to be extending into 2023. And you got to understand that first we heard that it's going to be uh, mid-2021. Then we heard that it's going to be early 2022. And now they're saying that it's gonna be early 2023 that's wild and it's coming from the granddad uh, of Intel they've done like a Q2 earnings call and Activision Q2 earnings call is gonna be very soon uh, we're gonna be streaming that next week as well so hit the subscribe bell but that's what they say while I expect the shortage to bottom out in the second half it will take another one to two years that's likely when we're gonna get GTA 6 so does that mean like GTA 6 is also gonna be delayed I don't know buckles so yeah man if you have a PlayStation 5 right now if you have the Series X right now you're definitely feasting because there are a lot of people that don't have it. I mean, if you see a Sony Pony 5, if you see the Xbox out here, definitely go gang gang just like how people go gang gang when they see free food because otherwise you might have to wait till 2023. We also have Blue Box Game Studios or I should say Blue Ball Studios so they came out and they say that, are you ready uh, we are and they have dropped the abandoned real time experience and I do know that the homie Sony Pony MBG like uh, nothing but love for the, the homie Sony Pony MBG but he's out oh. there shaking he's out there doing helicopters with his willy he, he's thinking that this is gonna be a silent hill 2077 but i gotta keep a buck 50 it is likely not silent hill okay maybe there is one person chance but seriously they have come out and they have said multiple times that this is not silent hill they also delayed the reveal in fact you're gonna be able to download the app on july 29th but the reveal will be on august 10 you never know it's blue ball studio they might delay that too okay but man hide your activision supervisors out here because breaking Activision Blizzard employees to stage a walkout tomorrow, July 20th, in front of the Blizzard HQ in Irvine, California, in protest of the company's executives' response to the harassment lawsuit. And there goes the Activision stock out there. The Activision stock is also plummeting. And the, the funny thing here is that they have been completely silent, okay? They have quit the social media for almost a week. It has been a week since they have quit. Yesterday, we heard that a thousand employees signed a paper against Activision's uh, Blizzard management team, the supervisor the higher-ups and today 2,500 people signed it and tomorrow they're gonna be protesting they're gonna be out on the streets and they're gonna be not working and they're also telling that to the Call of Duty devs out here to not work on the game they're likely gonna do their protests as well so this is really getting out of hand to be honest I'm with the employees because Activision okay that's Activision I cannot say these words in English but gotta switch up the language here sometimes this is massive okay I uh, shout out to the homies for adding me in the situation Call of Duty may just be delayed that's a w i but still no console fov slider or anti-cheat listen here okay the activision supervisors are doing helicopters with their release they're smacking the the female employees at work the the female employee actually took her own life two years ago california has been investigating it's not the time to ask for anti-cheat and just think about it right you have been asking i've been asked we all have been asking for anti-cheat for how many years how many months right we have been asking did activision do anything about it absolutely not they were like Likely dealing with the lawsuit uh, privately and obviously the higher-ups are too busy harassing the devs so that kind of explains why we get a lack of content and uh, no anti-cheat and skill-based matchmaking and I mean Activision like look at that it went down 8% that is massive okay and obviously they got an investor call coming up I will be live streaming that on the channel I believe it's on August 2nd or 3rd I will stream that that that's gonna be really interesting that's when they're gonna talk about their uh, future Call of Duty games their future Activision Blizzard projects and it's gonna be really really interesting to see if they're gonna come out before 
they they're likely gonna come out before and they're gonna give their response in fact just the other day they gave their response but they were playing the victim card they were like yeah, hey it didn't happen like that uh, we are innocent if you actually uh, do this to us we're gonna be getting out of california they were saying <coughs> like that and they were like hey this is the reason why companies are pulling out of california i'm 100 percent with the employees because bobby out here he's probably getting bj's out here he's probably on his private island crying in his lambo took 155 million dollars home getting bj's i'm 100 percent with the employees and we got Windows central out here they openly called out the homie bobby says that why activation ceo bobby kodak is an overpaid coward and should be replaced i mean they went gang gang okay that is massive look at that cat picture out here special evidence for the cat picture that's coming from the andre but speaking of getting the beaches ladies and gentlemen Activision but a drop Modern Warfare 11 remaster multiplayer to cope with this situation <laughs> check this out uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 campaign remaster may release on all platforms simultaneously plus rumors that Activision has broke away from their long-standing PlayStation Early Access contract. That is actually kind of poggers. The news is coming from the homie MW2 OG Coast. This is the man that was very active during the Modern Warfare 2 Remaster leaks. If you think about it, Modern Warfare 2 Remaster leaks have been coming out since 2017, late 2017, 2018, even 2019, and the game ended up coming out in 2020 without the multiplayer. And I'm pretty sure they're saving it for a rainy day. And right now, it's not even a rainy day. It's a rainy year for Activision. You really don't hold your hope because you never never know we might be talking about modern warfare 3 remaster even in 2022 even in 2023 and it comes out in 2024 just like how we waited like years to get modern warfare 2 remaster without the multiplayer and you gotta keep in mind this is likely gonna come out without the multiplayer but personally i kind of have a feeling that they're gonna drop it with the multiplayer knowing what's happening right now they need to uh give people the kick of dopamine right now because a lot of people are kind of pulling out the ship is crashing and the rumor is that they're gonna bundle that with call of duty 2021 and it's very very likely they're gonna do that because they likely have seen what battlefield has to offer but before we get to the battlefield topic just want to shout out the brand new member on the channel this sugar daddy has became a brand new member thank you find yourself very motivational name out here welcome to the vip lounges if you're a sugar daddy of 20 moms out there feel free to become a member if you're not a sugar daddy that's perfectly fine i appreciate the heck out of you for watching the videos liking them hitting the bell you're a crazy motherfucker out there but level cap came out yesterday and the reason i'm putting this here is because the actual source has deleted okay so the raid forums they have ganged from the post out here but the damage has been done and it was up for almost 10 hours where this leaker or hacker says that hello everyone here's the leak we promised to everyone and i've seen the link by myself and they have leaked the frostbite engine data they have not completely leaked it but they're blackmailing daddy ea out here they say that if they pay us in less than 45 days we will send them the rce uh, personally i'm not a scientist out here so i do not know what's that and delete user data this is our last warnings before that even happened everything on our side is ready from the infection with an ev certificate if they don't pay us then we will maybe post the database okay so they they don't seem confident or maybe english is not their first language i mean english is also not my first language like that but my point here is that they are they don't seem confident they say maybe my god that's not how negotiations work like i don't want to sound like i'm actually helping the hackers out there but you don't say maybe like that okay you say we will okay we will post database on raid forums 20 to 25 to again not a scientist do not know what that means please note that this account won't be used again remember our name lab sus with a dollar sign as well yo that is very sus and you want to know what we already got the battlefield 2042 hacks for the pc when the beta drops for everyone that pre-ordered the game our team also tells console owners for the xbox and playstation how to use a cheating device to help you come in first place in every game that is massive okay like never have i thought that we will see one of these days man um uh, and uh, we got the homie vesti out here says i hope it's not like battlefield 5 or warzone and the, the homie added me in the situation another homie's like bruh look at this please tell me this isn't true and anti-cheat already the beta hasn't even started hopefully it doesn't ruin the game my man just couldn't even form sentences out here this is more than likely true i i hate to break it to you but like we're, we are likely gonna get hackers even if the source code wasn't leaked it's very likely that we were gonna see 
hackers on PC and knowing the fact that now their source code is hacked, EA officially confirmed it. They even got the law enforcement involved. They have officially and publicly confirmed that not long ago. The fact that their source code is stolen is just not looking good. But honestly, man, Battlefield is looking insanely good. Activision is also making it super easy for EA, but EA's biggest problem right now is their source code hack. That's the only concerning thing about Battlefield, but otherwise the game is looking poggers. But let me know your thoughts below. But check out this video on the screen. Hit the subscribe bell so I can interrupt you every time you're about to score on your crush. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.